Our uh, missing middle bill, uh, House Bill 2001, is a necessary conversation. Let me just start there. And it doesn't say we would eliminate single family zoning. What we would say is there needs to be more choice in residential areas, not just single family homes, but duplexes and triplexes and different types of options because working with both land use advocates and home builders, there's a recognition out there that within our urban growth boundaries, we need additional choices in residential areas. So I, I want to assure people it's not about saying single family homes are bad. We need other options for people. So because this is about workforce housing, this is about other options within cities uh, to provide different types of housing. And the sooner we can get it out there, I think the sooner we're going to get more units and more choice out there, and that's going to be helpful for our crisis. We, we have to do this. So briefly, if it's not eliminating single-family zoning, how would it work? It would say for cities above uh, 10,000 that they would have to provide some zoning options for other things besides single fa family homes in residential areas. Um, so if, if someone, for example, has a single family home and they want to subdivide it into multiple units within a single family home, they could do that. If a dilapidated house has to come down, there would be an option to build a duplex or a triplex or a cottage cluster apartment complex. Right now, because of the rigidity of single family zoning, you can't have those options. And I think there needs to be more choice that will lead the way for more construction and more access to the different types of affordable housing that I think people are going to need.